um, distribution function is a probability distribution function with a constant probability under a bounded region so if we could draw a distribution function where this horizontal axis is variable, random variable, the vertical axis is distribution function. So this is the area of rectangle which by definition should be equals to 1 area of a rectangle is given by by times the height as we don't know height here we can calculate it from here breadth is given by this length which is nothing but y2 minus y1 so I will write here y2 minus y1 times the height so we will get height equals to 1 over y2 minus y1 so this is the height of the or probability of this uniform distribution function now as the title suggests we need to calculate PDF and CDF of this distribution function so I'll write here PDF is given by As a convention, it is written as written in lowercase letter. Is equals to. In the graph, you can see that only in this region y1 to y2 there is a value. So I'll write one of our y2 minus y1 where y is in between y1 to y2 and 0 as well next is CDF 
which is commutative distribution function which by definition is given by cdf is defined as integration over minus infinity to y of probability density function where this u is integration variable. So here there are three cases. Case one when y is less than y1. which means if you could draw this 0 y here it is minus infinity to Y here is Y one and Y two. So Y is before Y one. So PDF is given by sorry CDF is given by minus infinity to Y. So in this region from minus infinity to y pdf is 0 so will minus infinity to y 0 to which results in zero this is case one so next case two when y is in between y1 and y2 which means it went somewhere in between y1 and y2 y is located so now this is the integration So we need to integrate in this region f of y minus infinity to y u du from minus infinity to y1 I can split this integration u du plus from y1 to
and in this region the PDF is 1 over y2 minus y1 d so this is 0 so what we are left is as y2 minus y1 is independent of u I can take outside the integration y2 minus y1 y1 d integration of 1 with respect to du is u integration limits equals to y minus y1 divided by 2 minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 now case 3 is when y is greater than or equal to y2 let us see in the diagram somewhere somewhere after y2 is y so the region of integration now will be from minus infinity to y so this can be split into into three parts now I'll write this y1 y1 to y2 y2 to y so from minus infinity to y1 there is no value so hence 0 and here after y2 also there is 0 so what we are left is only this term which is y1 to y2 f of y u which is having pdf as 1 over y2 minus y1 t u as y is independent of d u i can take this lower bracket outside the integral y2 minus y1 integral y1 to y2 1 d y2 minus y1 integration of 1 with respect to u is u with limits y1 and y2 so substituting the limits you will get y2 minus y1 which gets cancelled to 1 so I can write c 
CDFS 0 and y is less than or equal to y1 y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 when y is in between y1 and y2 and 1 when y is greater or equal to y2 so if you can, if you can plot this So when y is less than y1, it is 0. When y is in between y1 and y2, we are having a straight line, which I can, which this can be, re, this can be written as 1 over y2 minus y1 y minus this is of the form mx plus c which is a straight line with this is slope and it is a positive slope hence the line is will be an inclined line till here so at the point y2 this equation will be y2 minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 which gives us A straight line so this is 0 this is y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 this is 1 hope you understood